Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Car Castle. And today we're looking at America's best-selling SUV again. But today we have a new trim for 2024. I know it just got redesigned for 2023, but they brought a new hybrid trim called the Sport L. And it is priced not that much less than the top trim Sport Touring. So today let's find out what do you get a little less than the Sport Touring? What do you get a little more than the Sport? Is it worth that extra money? for the Sport Touring or go for the Sport L. Let's find that all out in today's video. Okay, coming up to the front here, you're gonna see the same front design that we just got on the uh, redesign last year. It's the same design, they didn't change anything for 2024. But for the Sport L trim, it's going to pretty much look the same on the outside as your Sport hybrid trim. So that's going to include the black accent above the grill and the black little triangle things, I call them, at the bottom right there. The little bit of matte black on the bottom. You're going to see that black trimming going across the whole front, kind of in between the light that gloss black grill and then the Honda emblem right there fully LED lights like any other 24 CRV uh, LED blinkers seem right there and when those are not blinkers it is going to be your LED daytime running light LED uh, high beams everything up here is LED. We do not have fog lights here on any trim of the CRV for 2024 as well. You see that? We got parking sensors. Something that the Sport Hybrid does not have. So there's going to be one, two, three, four parking sensors on the front. That is not on the Sport Hybrid, so you are going to get that jumping up to the Sport L Hybrid that is on the Sport Touring though. Coming around today, we have it in Meteorite Gray. Nice color here on the Sport L. So you see here, we are going to have the same wheels as we have on the Sport. It is the 18 inch um, black, gloss black wheels, same on the Sport. If you go do, to the Sport Touring, you will get the 19 inch. So that is the difference. You have the chrome around the windows and you do have uh, gloss black roof rails on the Sport L. Coming around to the back, we're going to have fully LED taillights, brake lights, and reverse lights. However, the turn signal is incandescent. Your windshield uh, wiper right there. You see, just like every other new CRV, the all wheel drive badge is going to be right under the wiper. Coming back. You're going to have dual exhaust pipes on here. You're going to have those on every CRV hybrid. So you, that is not going to change here. And then you see your parking sensors again. Right there, right there, right there, and right there. Your sport emblem. There is no L on here. So you're not going to have an emblem that says L. So you might not know if this is a sport or a sport L unless you go inside or if you look at the parking sensors. Do a little walk around of this 2024 CRV Sport L. Still nice and sporty. As you can see, the car is on. Actually, you can't see, but you can't hear it because, yes, it is a hybrid. Okay. Not many differences here on the outside for the Sport L for 2024. But let's go into the inside to see what kind of differences we have there. Coming into the inside here, if we come down here to the seat, we do have power adjusting seats on this Sport L, which you do not get on the Sport. So that is another upgrade you get from the Sport. Coming over here on our door panel, we still have that nice 
I say a kind of aluminum trim that goes on the door panel right there. And then your silver door handle and seat memory. Another feature you do not get on the Sport Hybrid, so you will get that here on the Sport L. Your power windows, your mirrors, all that. A storage compartment there. A storage compartment there. And you see we have that orange stitching again that you see on the Sport Touring. Coming to our seats here, you can see we do have leather. Now it is Sport L. L is for leather. You do get leather here in this Sport L. You do not get that on the Sport, so another upgrade there. The seats pretty much look exactly the same as the Sport Touring seats in black with the red uh, or the orange stitching. Okay, getting in here. Here is our Sport L interior. Coming to the steering wheel. Have a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Let's have your orange stitching. A little bit of chrome right there. All your button controls, you have all your volume controls, the controls to change the gauges on all your safety controls. Looking at the gauges here, you're gonna see you have your speed right there, your miles right there, the temperature outside, your gas down there. See it says the door open, so let's close the door and you see you have the range and fuel. You can customize that to all these options. So that is very nice to have all those options. I'm gonna do the power fuel because it is a hybrid. You can see that this is a half digital display, so the other half is analog. Got your controls there. You can hear, I'm pretty sure the car just kicked on. Okay, coming down here to our display. We're gonna have the nine inch display that you see on the Sport Touring and EXL. So that is another upgrade from the Sport. You get the uh, bigger, nine inch display you see we have the radio we have all that all our apps ready to choose here our volume control our tuning buttons and all our shortcut buttons are down there on the screen you see we have this nice vent design that you have on all the rest of the CRVs and now most Honda models. But what diff what is different about the CRV than say the Civic or the Accord or the HRV is you have this nice aluminum textured trim right here. Very premium, looks very nice and definitely a nice thing they put to separate it from all the rest. Coming down here for our climate controls, we have a dual zone automatic climate control we have heated seats right here you do get those on the sport so no ventilated seats on this there's actually not ventilated seats as an option on any crv this year all our controls temperatures you got everything right there and the nice premium feel of these buttons definitely a nice touch Coming down here, you have a USB-C and a USB-A, and then a 12 volt. Nice storage area here. This is where your wireless phone charger is. Right there, as you see, you get a wireless phone charger. So that is another upgrade from the Sport. You do not get, or you do not get that on the Sport. It is on the Sport Touring as well. Though. Your drive modes here, your hill descent control, parking brake, brake hold, and then all your controls here. If we put it into reverse, you can see our backup camera and you might be able to hear that noise that it does play when you have it into reverse, just to let people know that you are backing up. You have three views and then there's your parking sensor view. And then it has the cross traffic alert. 
Okay, coming into here, we have two cup holders. You know the CRV is known for its storage and its class. We definitely do have tons still here in the Sport L. We have a little compartment here. You have uh, two cup holders. And then a massive center console. Definitely nice space. And then a leather wrapped here armrest. It does feel very nice. Um, here's your mirror. Coming up here, you have your sunglasses holder, lights, and other controls. Your panel right there. And you do have a sunroof, but that is on the Sport Hybrid 2, so you're not losing that going up to the Sport L. Let's see your nice controls. You get a better view of your leather seats and that is all for the front here now let's go into the rear thing i did not mention is you do get blind spot monitoring on this sport l but do mind you that honda is having a shortage of blind spot monitoring so make sure that when you buy it if you want that it uh, has it because they are taking it off some of the CRVs and other Honda vehicles because there's a shortage of it. They will knock down the price a bit if you don't option in the uh, blind spot monitoring. Just make sure that you have that if you would like it. And it's located right there on the mirror. Okay, coming here to the rear. This seat is all the way back. And look at still how much room I have. Tons of room, even though it's all the way back. This CRV it will definitely not, uh, not disappoint you for your family or anyone that's sitting back here. Nobody is going to be disappointed. You do have air conditioning, air vents right here. And you have two USB-C ports. You got a light right there. And you have a center armrest for the middle. And these seats do recline. So definitely nice space back here. Nobody's going to be complaining if they're sitting back here as your passengers. Okay, opening the tailgate. It is power tailgate, something you don't get on the Sport. We do have the floor mats back here, but you can still see that there is tons, tons and tons of space back here in the CRV Sport L Hybrid. You are not going to lose any space if you get this from the uh, gas-powered models. You don't lose any. One thing you do lose from the gas-powered models is you do not get a spare tire on here. You get a repair tire kit. So if that's important to you, you might want to go for the gas-powered options. And there is the truck. Push it right there. And it goes down. Okay, now that we've been in the rear and we've been in the front, I am going to explain to you what is different, what you get more from the Sport and what you don't get from the Sport Touring. So, the Sport. What do you get more on this Sport L hybrid than you that you don't get on your Sport hybrid? You get leather, of course. You get seat memory. You get the larger 9-inch display. You get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You get an 8-speaker audio system. You get parking sensors. And you get a power tailgate. What do you not get here on the Sport L that you get on the Sport Touring? All-wheel drive is standard on the Sport Touring. On here, you can get the front-wheel drive available. On the Sport Touring, you can just get the all-wheel drive. Navigation is on the Sport Touring, Honda's navigation system. You get a Wi-Fi hotspot on the Sport Touring. You get a Bose audio system on the Sport Touring. You get a heated steering wheel on the Sport Touring. You get rain-sensing wipers on that. And then you get the 19-inch rims and a hands-free power tailgate. So there is quite a few features that you get on the Sport Touring that you don't get on here for that extra money. 
and then you definitely get tons of features on here from the sport now you might be asking what is the price difference between the sport and the sport l and then the sport l and the sport touring well the sport touring the top trim sport touring is a thousand six hundred and fifty dollars more and that is for all-wheel drive with a non-premium color and that does include destination now how much more is this than the sport hybrid this is three thousand dollars more um, all-wheel drive non-premium color than the sport so is it worth it going a thousand dollars a thousand six hundred and fifty dollars more for the sport touring to get those extra features or is it even an upgrade for three thousand dollars for the sport i think it's definitely an upgrade more features for three thousand dollars from the sport but um it is a good price here definitely get tons more features than the sport but is it worth it or should you just go a thousand six hundred and fifty dollars more for the sport touring i'll let you decide that so now one thing that we have missed is the uh, trunk let's go in the trunk and see if you get the same amount of space that you do in every other crv okay down here to the engine and transmission this is a hybrid crv so it is going to be different as you can see so this is an ecvt two liter ecvt hybrid system the gas powered models has a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine the fuel economy is better on this of course than the gas powered models i'll put that on the screen i'll also put on the screen the horsepower models or the horsepower numbers As you can see here it's got the uh the automatic lifting thing again if you'd like to see the gas powered crv i did do a video on that it's on the channel i did the exl that has all the numbers for the gas shows you all the trims except this new sport l and does do a driving experience of the gas powered model so that is on the channel if you'd like to check that out so now let's get on into the driving experience. Okay, we are now driving the Sport L Hybrid CRV 2024. This is the hybrid, which I did not cover in my last CRV video. I uh, we drove the gas model. So driving the hybrid, I mean, still very comfortable. You don't feel many of the bumps. Definitely great handling. You see the engine just turned off. And then when it kicks back in, you really you really can't tell. Flooring it right here. Do you have pretty good power on here? Ro road noise is not that bad. Don't have that much. These seats are very comfortable the leather just a nice comfortable quiet ride now you might be wondering when can I get this CRV hybrid sport L it is already showing up at dealers right now. Um, yeah. This one, the all 2024 CRV models are arriving at dealerships soon. Again, you have the LX, the EX, and the EXL gas models with that 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. And then for the hybrid, you have the Sport, the Sport L, and the Sport Touring. So definitely many options there.
Okay, flooring it again. The engine definitely has a nice noise when it when you really push it, and uh, definitely good power too. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. If you um, enjoy my videos and make sure to hit the notifications so you never miss a video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see more on the CRV, we did do a gas powered model EXL CRV that is on the channel right now. And you can see how that one is different from the hybrid models and the Sport L. And you can see all the trims are explained in that video except this new Sport L. And um, the driving experience in the gas-powered models is on that too. So go check that out if you'd like to compare the hybrid from the gas. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.